Hey VPs, welcome to my channel, my channel, my channel. <laughs> oh yes, but anyways, today is Thursday, October the 11th. It's before work. I started getting dressed kind of early for work today. And um, yeah, so I'm just kind of sitting here now. I just tend, finished tending to my wound. <laughs> the burn. Uh, yeah, I put some more aloe vera on it. And uh, it looks like it's trying to grow a new scab. I don't know. There's Kingston. Say hi to the people. Say hi to the VPs. Say hi VPs, hi people. Say my name is Kingston Langston Templeton. Yeah. <laughs> He's been a big old baby. He's always a baby y'all. He like, I'll be standing up like doing my hair or something like that and he'll start standing up on me cause he wants me to pick him up. So. And ever since this mirror has been down on the floor, he like has been tripping out. He'll just sit there and look at himself and then he'll start barking and growling. And then if he sees me in the mirror too, sometimes he'll bark and growl at me through the mirror. <laughs> A mess. That's you. Yeah. So anyways, y'all, I'm so ready to get out of this apartment. I got stuff everywhere. I mean everywhere and I cannot stand clutter I cannot stand it so wish me luck I got some clothes in the washing machine right now it sounds like they're ready to go into the dryer but anyways before I finish getting ready for work I just wanted to step in and start today's vlog and say hey what's up hey y'all I'm home from work y'all I don't even know if I'm actually honestly if I'm gonna have enough material to even post vlogtober day i think it's 12th yeah because there's nothing going on and i've been at work all day but i want to show y'all i did stop to get me something to eat at the red lobster by me and uh yeah i got my favorite mushrooms they're the appetizer and I got these mussels first time I'll be trying them and it comes with some bread right there and then of course I got the regular red lobster bread so look at all this stuff yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and eat and I'll talk all right, to y'all later oh here I am I'm back I'm back I'm back in the cut no um oh sorry Kingston um A little boy yeah I was sitting here and y'all I know I don't have that many clips I don't have really nothing <laughs> no vlog for today but I pulled it out from here you know a little from time to time or what have you but anyways I was laying here and I was thinking of the fact that today was national um, coming out day the day of the girl is what it's called and so it really made me think and it's crazy because one of the first things that it made me think was about Damo, Damo Wilson, some of her music, you know, about coming out and stuff like that. And if there's any of you out there that's like looking at my vlogs and you're like, you know, on the inside, you know that you're a lesbian or you're gay or you're bi or whatever it is that you are and you're hiding it or in putting it deep inside of you like that's what this day is about is about you you know um be proud of who you are you know as you as i got older I just wanted to be me I just wanted to do I wanted to start living my life for me and making me happy because I was a mother at a okay, very young I'm age back. what was I saying um you know I was a mother at a very young age and so I lived my life for my children you know um 
like when I thought about where I was going to move or what, what was, you know, better for me financially, you know, um, for me to move to, but it would take them out of their school or have them in a school that's completely different than what they're used to being around or, you know, the environment that they're used to or whatever. And like, it was just hard in that way. Everything was for them. Everything was wrapped around them. They were my world, you know, <laughs> my world did revolve around my kids. And, um, so now that I, you know, as I've gotten older and now that I am older, I just want to just be myself, you know, people, your loved ones will love you regardless. If they, if they really are your loved ones, they'll love you regardless. You know, some people just need more time or whatever, you know, to get over it. And that's completely understandable or to just kind of get past it. You know, it's completely understandable. It really is because to them, it's like you're just coming out of nowhere. But for you, you know, it's <laughs> it's nothing new, <laughs> you know, to you. But um, I'm just, you know, having this conversation with y'all in the thought of the fact that today is National Coming Out Day. So if you are ready to come out, girl, just do it. Just do it do it do it do it for you do it for you you know but anyways i just want to say that i'm liking having these little talks with y'all y'all are helping me get through like what i'm going through all the stuff that i'm going through right now just being able to talk to y'all about it and this is how i'm gonna how my process of like just trying to turn everything positive and try to have some positive thoughts about things and it Talking to y'all about it really helps me with that. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to go ahead. I bet I got enough material now. <laughs> I'm going to talk y'all's head off. But anyways, y'all, so this should be our last night here at Kingston. I know last night was supposed to be, but really, tonight. I'm going to have to show you our new place, baby. Our new place. And then... Then you need a bath after we get moved in and settled in. Yeah, you need a bath, old boy. Mwah. I love you, too. I love you, too, baby. Yeah, we can have a new home. Mm-hmm. Home is where Mama is. Home is where Kingston is. <laughs> All right, y'all. Good night, deuces. Bomb. Let me guess your favorite fragrance, and you got that bomb. <laughs> I'm trying to detonate you. No disrespecting, baby. Just trying to make you smile. Try to keep my spirits up.